hello lovely people i hope you're doing well welcome to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you guys how to make this reversible triangle bikini set the free sewing pattern is available to download in the description below if you like this video please make sure to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet now let's write down the material you will need Place a fabric on the fold and cut the pattern, bikini top and bikini bottom. Repeat on the other fabric. Now we need to cut our stripes. To make my life easier, I always cut a long stripes and then after that I just measure the stripes how many I need. So in this case you're gonna need four stripes for the bottom, two stripes for the neck and then one stripe for the underbust. All the measurement or in the patterns. Okay guys, after you cut your stripes, you can see here, this is all the pattern pieces that you will need. Go ahead and start making your stripes. Fold in half, right side facing together, and we go into stitch using the 0.5 centimeters. I am using an overlock, but if you guys don't have an overlock, you can use a sewing machine by using a zigzag stitch. After you sewn all your stripes, we need to add elastic. This is optional, but I highly recommend that you use elastic because it just gives that professional look.
after you have sewn the stripes and you have attached elastic now turn inside out and repeat this step with the other stripes okay guys let's start sewing this bottom so what I did I just put it down right side together because I'm using solid fabric so I just wanted you guys to see uh, which is the right side and which one is the wrong side place right side together pin on the crochet area and repeat the process on the other fabric place right side together and then mark one centimeter and leave a hole around one or one and a half centimeters and then we're going to stitch so on the crotch seam and repeat on the other one just make sure the one with the hole we do a double stitch because when we turn the bikini bottom around we're going to do a little stretch and we want to make sure the thread is all nice and secure Place your bottom right side together, pin the leg opening, repeat on the other side. If you want to, this is also a great opportunity to also pin the west side. go ahead on the overlock machine so on the leg opening using the 0.5 centimeters do the same for the waist seam Mark one centimeters where we're going to attach the stripes. Do that for the four corners. Now we need to add the elastic on the leg openings and we also need to add on the waist side as well. Now attach your elastic where we just sewn. I'm using a 0.8 centimeters elastic. When you attach the elastic, just be very patient. You slowly take your time because for some people who are beginner, this can be a little bit tricky, but I do believe you can do it. Just be slowly and you get there. Patient, patient.
now that you have attached your elastic now just trim that corner where we just mark one centimeter do that for the four corners turn your bottom the other side where we have the hole and then put your stripe through that hole and do this for the four corners press your stripe through that hole and pin Just leave a little tip for the stripe about one centimeter because you can always trim that later. Your bikini bottom is almost done. Now go ahead, sew on your stripes. Ladies, just make sure when you do your stripes, you do a double stitch because we wanna make sure your stripes is secure because we don't want that to come off. Imagine ladies, you're enjoying your holiday on the beach and then your stripes just come off. We don't want that to happen, ladies. Just a quick tip, if you're using a sewing machine, make sure you use a zigzag and you do a double stitch or even if you have to do a triple stitch do that ladies we want to make sure our stripes is nice and secure okay ladies your swimming buttons almost done now i'm turning your button inside out to just pull through that hole do it gently and slow it's a nice detail you can do a little knot on the stripes and this is a great opportunity if you want to add some beads on your stripes as well. I'm going to show you guys how to do the hand stitch to cover that hole. I'm going to use an invisible thread. This invisible thread is really good, especially if you don't like doing hand stitch like myself. I personally, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't enjoy very much to do hand stitch. But when I do use this invisible zip, even if the stitch is not that correct you don't you don't see it because it's so invisible i would love to know if any of you guys don't like the hand stitch like me please comment below as you can see here you don't see any stitch now you finish your bikini bottom now let's do a triangle top as i mentioned before i did work down right side because i wanted you guys to be able to see which one is the right side and the wrong side because i'm using solid color so it's very difficult to identify which one is the right and the wrong side grab your measuring tape and then mark 2.5 centimeters from the bottom to the top and then do the same thing from the bottom mark 0 0.5 centimeters that's where we're going to overlock. Repeat this step on the other four triangle pieces. After you have marked all the marks on the four pieces, do a very small trim 
just like this and repeat on the other three of them as well. Now fold those trims that we just done and then pin. Fold like this. Repeat this on the other three of them. Go ahead in your sewing machine and then just do a stretch stitch. Make sure you do back stitch. As you guys can see here. The reason why we're doing this is that when we attach uh, our stripes is going to be so neat. Now right side together, place your top right side together and then pin on the side. Just pin from the top to the middle where we have the flaps, little corners. Just sew around and then stop. Do the same thing for the other side. Sew around and stop. Repeat on the bottom. As you can see here, we just saw the top. Now we need to attach elastic where we just sewn. But don't sew on all the way to the bottom, just so where we have the flaps. Repeat that on the other side. As I said to you guys before, just be very patient when you attach the elastic. Take your time. Put your strap through that hole. Okay, I'm trying to put it here, but for some reason it wasn't going. Pin your stripes at the top. Do the same thing for the other one. And then sew. So we're gonna use a straight stitch. Do a straight stitch and make sure you do back stitch as well. Now cut the excess fabric. Pull your strap through that hole. And your bikini top is almost done. It's really, really fast with this bikini top, to be honest, guys. And the reason why I decided 
to offer this pattern for free for you guys is because if you really want to get into swimwear this is a really nice and easy pattern for you to get start because once you become a, a master do a triangle bikini top and a string bottom trust me guys it's gonna be so much easier this is a really good pattern for you to get used to how to work with stretch fabric like lycra now just turn your bikini bottom inside out slowly be patient as I said before when you say in a swimwear patient it's all you need you have to be very patient with swimwear especially with stretch fabric okay now we need to do a line to attach to put a, a stripe for the under bust so and this is also a really great trip uh, tips especially for beginners what I usually do is just get your measuring tape and then just measure around one centimeters measure around put a pin measure put a pin trust me this is gonna make your life so much easier when you have to do the stitch on the sewing machine did that and then the other thing as well I would recommend if you're a beginner just use a thread and then do a loose stitch but if you advance you don't have to do this part you can just skip and then go to the next step and then just do this stitch but make sure it is one centimeter from the bottom to the top remove your pins do the same thing for the other one Now go ahead in your sewing machine and just do a straight stitch. Make sure you back stitch. Do you guys see how easy it is? Basically, you don't really have to measure. You don't have to worry too much about that. Oh my God, is my line straight? I'm going one centimeters. You just do the stitch and it's done. Now put it through your stripes for the under bust and your triangle bikini top is done. As you guys can see here, the reason why we did that flap so that it gives this really nice shape at the bottom. Well done guys, you're done your bikini bottom and the top. <laughs>